Hi, Ed. I'm as well from the upcoming Lovely to Meet You. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. Um, so you're a new cast member to the series Star Trek Pickup. Can you tell us a bit about your character, how you kind of prepare for this, and kind of what appealed to you about the script that made you want to delve into this? Uh, I mean, firstly, I, I think in order to... I wanted to do the role. I mean, I didn't even have a script to start with. I did, I did an audition uh, and very quickly found out that I was going to be a part of this this uh, this movement this operation uh and yeah it was a, it was a no-brainer for me uh, delving into the character what drove me I, I he's he's very multifaceted he's he is he's everything you're sort of looking for as a as a, in a leading man role I suppose he is uh I think he's quite dynamic he's 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 full of angst uh he has moments of of, of rage but he has good humor he does look for the best in people I think there's you know that he 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 isn't foolhardy, you know. He will, he will, he will. He's he's a fearless individual as well. I feel that he doesn't just want to take the easy path for the sake of it. I think he also knows that if if he is in the wrong, he wants to find a way to put it right. Um, and I think I he's also a guy that is trying to understand exactly who he is in relation to other people. Uh, and you know, he has a history that yeah. he's trying to put together. And what's it like to step into this and then work with such a sort of brilliant cast like Patrick Stewart? I know you had quite a lot of screen time with, given the nature of the storyline. What's it like so close to, to work so closely with kind of this icon? You know, especially as in the third episode, you deliver a line that says, "The bigger the legend, the more disappointing the reality." <laughs> yeah, I know he, he's got. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that wasn't the case with Patrick. Uh, he, he, he lived up to the he lived up to legend lived up to legendary status. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was it's it was an honor. Uh, it's I mean, it's a privilege to be talking about it now because it's something. And I keep looking at his face in this poster. It was a, it was a very special time to be working so closely with him and and to be essentially going toe to toe with him. It's like you know the, the young line and the and, and the and the old line. Look, look, battling it out and trying to understand what one another wanted from each other in in the scenes and 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 how uh both characters were going to sort of confront their their inner demons and inner turmoil uh and you know patrick and i i, I believe relish those scenes I, I looked forward to working with him in all you know every day that i had the chance and obviously you know star trek is such a huge sci-fi franchise were you kind of a fan of the show and the genre before you joined the cast uh, I wasn't not a fan. I think you know I've watched certain films down the down you know, through the years. Uh, I have sort of nostalgic memories of Next Gen being on when I was a kid uh, on BBC Two. I think it was on, <laughs> and then but I I have to admit like Terry Metalis, our showrunner, who's his creative brain behind this particular season has been like it's, it's gargantuan. But he 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 put me through my paces. He's like, right, I'm going to send you to Star Trek University. These are all the episodes from Next Gen you need to watch in order to be ready. These are the films you need to watch going way back to like Wrath of Khan through to First Contact. Uh, he said, don't watch certain films, watch these ones. It was very clear. And I mean, I got completely hooked. And it's something that I am now incredibly passionate about. And I it's something that I... I want to keep doing. I feel like I've done one season of of being part of this, you know, amazing franchise. I wish we were doing many more. Yeah, but maybe you'll get a chance. Who knows? Also, Who knows? <laughs> what were some of your favourite moments filming this? I mean, it's such an action packed adventure. Does anything kind of stand out for you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, good good question. I think because of the, it, one again, this is why I was so drawn to the part because he he got to kind of do everything or I got to do everything, you know, you know, whether it be charging around with phases and being doing really detailed like stunt sequences or whether it being doing, you know, those heartfelt, you know, emotional beats with, with, with parents, with, with, with other people. And also there would be real, real dramatic tension with uh, uh, trying to work out what on earth was going on with this character and, and, and why he was behaving this the way he was and having to do some real like real soul searching both as as me and 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 for for the role to try and you know un, unpick and put you know put the jigsaw pieces together uh it felt that's that's why i loved it there were so many moments oh, well i loved watching it too thank you very oh, much great. for speaking to me thank um, you and good luck with it all thank you, thank very, you very much, much. Ed. thank you thank Bye. you